What's up, GM Nation? Doing another video quick. I had a few people asking how to put a trimmer line into a still weed whacker. So what we have here is the Cyclone .095, which is what I used to use. If you have a choice, don't use it. And this right here is the ugly line of .095, and this costs just as much as the still trimmer line costs. This was thirty-two dollars at Lowe's. So what we're gonna do is change it out quick, show you how it's done, and that's that. Here we go. So first things first, what you want to do is halfway in between both ends, there's this little spot here. What you want to do is push on it. Do the same thing this side. It comes out. And you just pull that out. And I'm just going to take this stuff out. Like I said, I'm going to use the ugly line because that stuff seems to work pretty good. As you see, there's holes right there. That's that's where you want to put your string line. What I like to do is always start at the top because if you look right here, there's these little locks which locks your line in. So here we go. See, now that top is in, the string is in, the trimmer line, and I got it coming right out the top of that lock, so it's going to hold it in for me. Now, we put it in through the bottom, wrap it around quick, here's the easy part, then right here is your sides. Line them up, you just put them in, bottom one goes right in, unhook your top from the lock. Goes right in. Then grab your cap, put it back on. There you go. Simple as that. Put your trimmer line in. And now, with that said, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We got many more videos coming. Like I said, you know, we do this all day, every day. Eat, sleep, breathe, mowing. So, if you haven't, look down, hit that subscribe button. See you in the